What is going on YouTube? It is Khan's Vlogs. You guys were back with another video. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, this past week has been a little bit crazy. When I say a little bit crazy, I mean really, really crazy. We crashed the 1LE. I'm gonna go through the whole story with you guys, but like before we get into that, we're actually gonna go to the spot that it happened so I can kind of walk you guys through what happened. Nobody was hurt in the accident, which was very, very lucky given the situation that I was in. Um, the car sustained minimal damage, but more importantly, we all walked away, no injuries, anything like that. It really could have been a lot worse, and I'm really grateful that it wasn't. I had friends in the car, and I really, really love these guys, like a lot. I mean, they mean the world to me. So shout out to them for being so cool. The accident wasn't totally my fault. Um, we'll get into that. Some circumstances arose, and I tried to handle it the best I could, and we ended up getting out of control. But yeah, so before we get into it, nobody was hurt in the accident, you guys. The Camaro will be fixed. It's just a car. It's fixable. No lives were harmed. Uh, nobody was, you know, no one was hurt. So yeah, basically all I did was I bent this, this is a tow rod on the Camaro. This is the passenger side rear tow rod and it bent really bad. We've got it back to straight, but you can see maybe the crease right there. Um, and then also the uh, rear trailing arm was bent. So I replaced that. I've got it on there right now, um, but it's not put together yet because I am having a very hard time tracking down a tow rod, believe it or not, um, because the one LEs use a different tow rod than the standard SS. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get one. Might end up going with BMR and just swap on the other side too but you know we'll fit we'll figure that out as it goes you guys but today we're just going to talk about the accident so without further ado we're going to head up to Corey's house and he's going to be filming the rest of the video you bet we're making a video on this really close Saucer up there, baby. It's up on the rail on that side. It's close, not quite. back here where it actually happened you guys it's a really small road okay it's a really small road so basically what happens is you see this corner up here that you're looking at right now we're mobbing around this corner right i don't know how fast we were going so we were coming around this corner and there was another car coming the opposite direction so we were going the way of this van right here and this other car that's gotten past um another car was going the other direction obviously on the other side of the road and that car came up on us and we met at the corner and that car tried to take the corner a little fast and ended up sliding headfirst into our lane. Me, I tried to swerve out of the way to miss that car, causing my front tires to get in the dirt, which started sliding. So what I did was I turned back into the road in order to, you know, obviously get back on the road and get some grip. The rear tires got in the dirt after that. And from there, that happened about right here. You can actually see we enter the grass i don't know how we missed this pole i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you we got super lucky we probably we entered say. like right here we're kind yeah, of we probably got in right here you can see the grass kind of got pushed over heading this way and we actually dived clear down here the rear end of the car was down here you can see it slid and bent over all of these plants right here. And then I kept going 
to this manhole back here. So you can see that it left his tires, left kind of like a trail. We went down here, hit those, then we came back up over this ridge, and you can see where the tires were going on the, the grass again. Barely missed this manhole. You can see we're scooting along right here. And then the tire marks have started to fade a little bit. You can see the one starts right here, right here on the road. I don't know if that was my front or rear. I really, it's all a blur. But we came back onto the road, ended up spinning one and ending up right over there, right before that fire hydrant. So there's the other tire marks. We spun about right here, did like a full 360, and then we ended up over there. So we ended up over here in the car, and this is about the first thing I actually remember about the whole ordeal. Is I was sitting right, I was chilling right here, and I got out of my car, and while we were sliding, I heard a really, really hard thud in my rear end. I thought we had either hit that pole, or hit a fence down here or something. And I fully expected my car, my rear end, just to be thrashed. I get up, look at the car, and other than my passenger side wheel, obviously. But yeah, pretty much that's what happened, you guys. Um, super lucky that nobody got hurt. I mean, the odds of it turning out the way it did were really slim, I feel like. I mean, we could have easily rolled. We could have ended up going through that fence. Thought I'd just give you guys an update on this. Okay, stuff does happen while you're driving. You're not always in control, so, you know, be careful out there. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know what happened. Everybody stay safe out there. I'm going to be taking you through as we fix up the Camaro. I've already started to try to do it, but I think I need to get all the parts in before everything will fit correctly. Yeah, more videos coming, you guys, on the Camaro, on the SS. Um, we've got one coming on my friend's Camaro as well. Thing is super, super clean. I can't wait to film a video on that. But yeah, guys, go ahead, leave your questions, comments, or concerns down below. Once again, thank you for all the support, you guys. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. What's up, guys? It's Corey, Connor's filmer and editor. I was just stopping by to let you guys know that there is some really cool stuff coming to the channel here soon. So be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel. Um, go ahead and leave the like on this video as well as go check out Connor's Instagram. That's where you're going to see all the updates on cars and photography and all the good stuff that he does. Um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that, um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Oh, no, no.